Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Call of Duty World War II. And I'm going to talk about the DLC today because I own DLC for this game, but I've only played on a DLC map maybe twice? Ever? I own all four of them, but I've played on the DLC maps twice. Plus, I believe I think some of the zombie maps sometimes, but we'll get into that. So, Call of Duty World War II is definitely an outdated Call of Duty game at this point, right? You have Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, Black Ops 4, then you also have um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that's what they're going with, god, it's so stupid, coming out. And Call of Duty World War II is in the middle because it had a horrible launch. The launch of this game was not, not okay, not okay, but the game's pretty good now. And, you know, there's this problem with any game that goes like Call of Duty, or Battlefield does it, you know, Halo does it, where you have a Call of Duty game, right? We'll just use World War II as an example. And you buy the first DLC. You play the first DLC maps, and eventually you stop seeing them in the rotation because people who own the first DLC aren't playing. Then the second DLC comes out, and then those rotations, you get them for like a week. Because Call of Duty World War II just died out. Then the third and fourth DLC, you maybe get to play those for a week to a month, those maps in rotation, and then no one owns them, so it stops. And you know, you paid 60 bucks for this game. You paid in total 60 or $50 for all of the DLC to get like a limited time, it feels like limited time access to these maps, because there's maps Call of Duty World War II, I think that's what? About 12 to 16 maps of DLC that I've never gotten to play. Except for two of them, three of them, you know? And it's, it sucks because it's all because the player base is down, you know? And I get that you, know, you have this game, like a thousand people, what's the chance of 16 people owning the same DLC, right? Like, what's the chance of it? It's not going to happen. Maybe. But I think that, you know, the age of DLC should be over. You know, because you're spending your money on stuff that you really is based on multiplayer things, right? Now, well, I'm going to back up a sec. Take a game like Halo Reach. The thing about Halo Reach is if you're someone who makes custom maps for Halo Reach, then, or Halo 4 or 5, I use Reach because that's the last game that I really liked was Reach. Then you have the situation where it's kind of like you have more palettes to work with. You have different maps to work with to make your custom racetracks, your custom game modes. In a game like that, then the DLC can live on because you, you know, you custom maps, you get bored of using Forge World, you get bored of the base maps, you pop a DLC with your friends, and then you have this custom map. In a game, in a game where custom modes are really big, it works because you still get to use these maps even though they might not appear in the multiplayer rotation. Call of Duty, custom games exist, but definitely not to the level of a Halo game or a Minecraft, you know, maybe Fortnite, I don't know, but... It just sucks that you don't get to use these DLC maps anymore. So it definitely feels like scammed out of your money. I mean, that's definitely what it comes down to. And I regret buying the season pass. I think that Call of Duty World War II was the game. Beyond me just getting bored of it before DLC 1 coming out. And the fact that I don't get to play these maps that I own. Really makes it so I don't want to buy DLC period. Like, I think the last DLC I bought was for Civilization 6. And that's, I think, the only DLC I've bought. Uh, other than that, I think I'm only going to buy single-player DLC unless a multiplayer game and my friends all want to get it. But take a game like Siege. Siege I'd be okay with buying DLC maps for, but you know, that's because the player base is freaking huge! Battlefield 5 if they charge DLC prices for Battlefield 5, I'd feel a little nervous. Battlefield 1? And the deal that I got the season pass with that, that was alright. Guys, what do you think of DLC in the comments below? Do you have this problem with multiplayer games where you buy the DLC maps, people stop playing them, and then you don't get to play these DLC maps? Leave your thoughts 
in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.